Thousand ones, empaths. <clears throat> a lot of you make the mistake of thinking that a narcissist has forgot about you. You know, there may have been some time since you've seen them. A lot's happened in your own personal life. A lot's happened in their life too. But as the days play out, you know, you remember the all of the hurtful things they said you'd done or how you didn't treat them rightly and you didn't caress them or you, you didn't care for them in the way they deserve. And they projected all of this stuff onto you and they, they made out that you, you didn't treat them right and you were horrible to them. All of these memories fade. Every bad thing that they said about you was based on a false narrative. It wasn't true, first and foremost. And also, as time pans out, all they have to remember you by are the good memories. The bad memories fade. This especially happens if you were discarded. If you were the one who was discarded, this is likely to happen. It's very, this is what happens when on the receiving end, I mean, on the end of the discard, the one who does the dumping, the one who cuts the cord, the one who ends it all, goes through dumper's remorse very quickly after. And that's why you may have found yourself getting hoovers very early on some of you don't realize they were hoovers you know very early on text message exchanges phone calls stuff like that very early on were in fact hoovers um but the narcissist is out there you know wherever they are wherever they are in the world even if you're in different countries wherever they are i'm telling you that you are such a rare being. The love you provided, they will not get elsewhere. So many of you make the mistakes like, oh, there's plenty of other people for them. Oh, they could go and find someone else who's going to give them the same supply I had. You're wrong. And I'll never stop, stop telling you that you're wrong about that. What you provided to the narcissist is a unique supply source that only you can offer. They can never ever get this supply source from other people. It will not be the same supply source that you offered. Right? They're used to your supply source. You were with them for a number of years. Or even a year. Or even months. They were used to having you around for however long the period of time was. They were used to having you around. They grew accustomed to the way that you handled things. They grew accustomed to your supply. So when your supply is gone out of their lives, yes, momentarily, they think they can get better. Yes, momentarily, they go out there and sleep with other people and they be with other people. Yeah, I'm not trying to trigger you now. They do. But it, this is the blessing that actually happens. It's when they go out there and they start searching for someone else. It's all they can see is you. All they have is reminders of you. All they have is fond memories of you. And they start to realize how much of an idiot they were for ending the things they, in the way they did. A lot of these lot of burnt bridges with us. There's no way back for them to come back into our lives. That's often why they resort to this hoovering from a distance they'll hoover from a distance stuff like that but you've got to understand you have to understand the narcissist is struggling without you the narcissist is struggling without you they find it hard navigating through life without you okay wherever they are in the world Wherever they are in the world, they have these memories of you. They have these memories of you. Okay? Wherever they are. So don't be thinking, <clears throat> just because the narcissist has gone somewhere else, that they've forgotten about you, or something like that. Don't think like that. It's negative thinking. You don't need to think like that. The narcissist 
remembers all of the good deeds that you've done for them. The way you used to build them up. The way you helped them. The way you provided love for them, care for them. The way that you helped them out. The narcissist knows this. And they know it even more now you're apart. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. The less contact you have, the more distance between yourselves, the harsher it will be of their awakening to the fact that they lost you. Okay? The harsher it will be to the fact that they actually lost you. They'll never get over it. The narcissist will never get over it. They'll be out there trying to find this supply, that supply, going with this supply, going with that supply. No one's going to equate to you. They're never going to find someone who equates to your level. They're never going to find that. They're never ever going to find that. You have to understand this. You have to understand this. They're never going to find someone who equates to your level of love. So don't worry about where they are. You know? Don't worry about where they are. It weighs heavy on their mind day by day. This reminder of you weighs so heavy on their minds. They don't know how to get back. They're stuck. They burnt bridges. They smeared us. They devalued us. They treated us like trash. How is it possible to just come around someone like that again? They will try if you let them. If you openly let them and invite them in, they'll, they'll, they'll happily come back around you again. You know? But you put up some resistance, you door slam, bolt, weld it shut, you cut them out of your life. This resistance, this, this is you pushing them away, even if you were discarded, you saying no, actually makes you more attractive in the eyes of the narcissist. If you're just ready to settle and let them back in and forgive them and let them do whatever they want, you know, you actually putting some boundaries in place. You putting some things in place that prevents them just walking back into your life. This actually makes you more desirable in the eyes of the narcissist. Because they want what they can't have. So I'm saying. Like this happened even when they was in the relationship with us early on. They were thinking about their ex. Like you've heard me tell you before. They were thinking about their ex. They never truly appreciated what we were till we were gone. Now they're with their new supply, they're thinking about the ex, and the ex is you now. That's the only difference that's happened. They never appreciated us while we was around. They never appreciated what we'd done for them until after. You know? Not a full-blown appreciation that would come from a normal, functional human being. But they show some degrees of appreciation for what we'd done for them because they know that based upon the supply that we offered. They know that we built them up highly. They know that we helped them. That we know that we've done all for them. Right? They're not going to find someone like this again in their lives. They'll never find this again. No matter where they search. No matter where they go. They're never going to find someone like you again. I promise you that. I ensure you that. So you don't need to worry about them. You see me? Knowing that my, my supplies, my narcissist, or the narcissist that was involved in my life went off with someone else. And now I've experienced hoovers and years have gone by. And I still see them hoovering and trying attempts, even though we're not meant to talk. I know they're never going to find someone like me. I know they're not. I'm not insecure about if someone looks this way or someone's this tall or someone's this small or whatever. I don't care. I am who I am. And I want you to appreciate who you are and know that you are not one in a million, not one in a billion, not one in a trillion. You're absolutely unique. There's not another you. So the narcissist is going to struggle to replace you. You're irreplaceable. They're never going to find someone to replace you. They can't find someone to replace you. And this is what frustrates them down to their core. This is what really grinds on them because they, they try their utmost to replace you. They run through supply after supply after supply, trying to make them replace you. And they just can't find it. They can't find it. I don't care if someone's richer than you, taller than you, whatever. 
You offered a unique supply. Everything's about supply for the narcissist. And you gave a pure part of yourself from your heart, that pure supply. That, you know, many people in our society and civilization don't even offer their heart in their dealings. Right? They don't even offer a part of their heart. They're heartless. You went into this open heart, open, with an open heart, an open mind. You cared for them, you helped them, you built them up. Yes, they threw it back in your face, but you'll, you'll reap the blessings of everything that you sold. You'll reap the blessings of everything that you've done. I promise you that. So don't worry about nothing. The narcissist is their loss, not yours. They walked out of your life, it's their loss, not yours. So don't worry about a thing. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. If you'd like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I've got a secondary channel, a spiritual channel. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.